welcome back to the Team Empire podcast, episode 62. I'm your host, Shannon, and I just want to quickly shout out our sponsor, Infinite Aesthetics, for sponsoring the pod. Uh, use code Empire if you want to shop. I have an awesome guest on for today. I'm so excited, and all of you will be like, this has been so long time coming, but we're doing it. So I've got New Zealand's newest, so actually she's got a big title, but we'll go through it all together, but it's New Zealand's newest wellness pro, Rachel Veal. How are you, Ray? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're super busy, so I appreciate your time for this podcast. Thank you so much. Cool. Excited to be Oh, I love it. Everyone's being like, oh, we need the new wellness pro on. Like, what are we doing here? So <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Um, lots of things to go through. First of all, Ray, honestly, congratulations on your season and going pro. That's huge. So congrats on that. You've done an amazing job. Um, and it was really cool for my first show to be one of your shows as well was my kiddo. And it was just cool to yeah. see you backstage and just like everyone was freaking out, like, who is this and what is that? Oh my gosh. And Lily was there and everyone was freaking out about these beautiful women that turned up. So uh, congratulations on all of that. I just want to ask you first off, how was your season and how was it going pro for you? Did you enjoy that part of your season? I did. Um, I did decide to keep it quiet, as you probably knew. I didn't announce it till the night before my kiddos. Um, yeah, I just decided I wanted to keep my head down. I didn't want um, – also because I actually had won my pro card with IFBB and fitness in 2018. Oh. Um, technically, I lost it because if you do compete with a federation, unfortunately, um, you do lose it. Um, so coming back, I didn't want to upset anyone. I wanted everyone just to come in to Waikato's. Um, yeah, not freaking out that I was <laughs> – yeah. <laughs> um so, yeah no I had a really good prep um of course you never know who's going to show up to comps anyway mm -hmm. um but yeah it was a good it was a good prep first time doing wellness um uh, very very different from fitness um yeah. and for my coach to be having me do wellness so I think I think we nailed it yeah so yeah, I think so. I think you did, babe. I think you came out and everyone was like, holy shit, Ray's gone to wellness and we're all going to freak out. But I love it, babe. It's amazing. I'm gonna We're going to dive into all of your, what got you to wellness, because there's a lot there. There's there's a bit in there. Yeah. You know, amazing career and, and, and competing. So we're going to talk all about it. But first, I had to ask, what's next for you? Because you're now a pro and everyone always wants to know what are the pros doing. Um, and we've heard a little whispers about you already knowing what you're going to do for your pro debut. So can you share that with us or do you want to keep that under wraps? No, no, I'm happy to share it because, um, yeah, it's th I'm 13 weeks out um, and heading at the Tampa Pro in Florida. Nice. Yeah, nice. Thanks. so I've decided I decided on that show because I do want to do masters. Um, so there were a few shows I had to choose from, and I was deciding between Chicago and Florida. And yeah, I just decided to go with that one, which I'm glad I did because two other Kiwis are going to be there: um, Denver and Jess. Yay. So it's been nice kind of having some more Kiwis yeah. there. Yeah, so Tampa Pro. Nice. Um, eight Masters on the Thursday, and then I'm going to just jump into the Open on the um, Saturday. Why not? I'm there. <laughs> Why not, babe? Get in there, girl. See where you land and see what you're working with, you know. And it'll be nice to have Denver and Jess there. So if anyone doesn't know, obviously, you they will know. You guys know who they are. But Denver's in bodybuilding, and um, Jess is a figure, isn't she? So that's going to be quite a good little mix of everyone. Yeah. I love that, babe. That's cool. And have you have you watched like the Tampa Pro before? Because it's quite a great show, isn't it? It's quite a spectacle. It's massive. Yeah, I uh, I went and had a little stalk. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah. Um, is it Rayal? I think she won the one last year. She's qualified already for the Olympia now. But yeah, she's. I look. I think she's amazing. Like, yeah, one of the bigger wellness girls. So, yeah. um, I do. Oh, so yeah. If that's that's the type of people that are going to be there. It's so like, whoa. <laughs> I know, like shocking almost, isn't it? It's like Kate Carroll when she did her show with Ashka. Like it's like you're rubbing shoulders with these Olympians, aren't you? So it's like it's huge, but that's what we're here for. So we'll all be watching. We'll all tune in and I'll make sure I let everyone know when the show is and how to get the pay-per-view link because there's always a pay-per-view. So we'll be watching you. We'll be supporting you. New Zealand's got your back. Um, let's talk about what you did first, honey, because you've done a lot. You've been in fitness. Um, you've done a couple of different federations. Like can we just go through the journey because I tried to do a bit of homework and even I got a bit lost so <laughs> um talk to me through it where did you start what got you into competing and then what took you to where you are now it's probably a long journey but share that with us yeah I'll try and make it short <laughs> <laughs> so I did start I mean we're going back maybe 20 years 
which is scary. Yeah. So um, I do plan for this one to be my last show. Yeah. So when I won my pro card, I was just like, I do need to compete internationally. Um, yeah. So I, I think this will be my last one, which will be a little bit sad. But, yeah, it's, I've had a long journey and it did start um, way back. I was working in the gym industry, full-time Les Mills instructor, um, and I had a PT approach me and say I should do a bodybuilding comp. And I'd never seen bodybuilding, never seen a bodybuilding comp. So my idea of bodybuilding was, oh, my gosh, he thinks I, they think I look like a man, like, with muscle. Um, yeah, which is kind of sad because if I could go back and tell myself then, like, love your body more because, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I've been dancing my whole life so I had an athletic body um, and then they were like have you ever seen a show and I was like no I haven't so they said come and watch one I went to an Auckland NABBA comp that was my first comp I ever went and watched and um, first category out was shape and a girl walked out on stage and she was dancing and moving and I was like oh my goodness <laughs> I want to do this this is amazing and um, yeah, so my first comp was with Nebba, um, competed in Waikato. Waikato was my first one. And I remember um, I, because I'm a gymnast, so of course my routine was very athletic. And I remember going backstage after. And so I was like, the judges want to see you. And I was like, oh my goodness, what have I done? Like, I've done something wrong. And they were like, no. Um, we haven't had a fitness competitor in a long time, so they had taken the category off. But they were like, yeah, move into fitness. Um, so, yeah, started my journey in fitness, um, competed IMBA internationally, did a couple of shows over in Melbourne, placed top three, which was really exciting. Um, but stopped bodybuilding because I fell pregnant with my son, who's now 16, Riley. Oh, oh. I probably did good eight years out of the bodybuilding industry and didn't really keep up to date with it while I was out. I was just full-time teaching group fitness, um, still lifting a little bit of weights. Um, and then I just decided I wanted to do something for me. I'm very goal-driven. Yeah. Um, so I was like, I'm going to go back and do bodybuilding. I'd been to Thailand. I'd got my breasts done. Yeah. Um, my body did look a little bit different. Um, but when I came back in, Nebba kind of wasn't really on the scene at this time. WFF had kind of come in. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew Leanne and Alex from the Nebba day. So they were like, come along, you know, jump in. We've got a couple of fitness girls. And so, yeah, WFF, I competed probably a couple of years with them before I got my pro card. Um, before I got my pro card with them, I was going to make the switch to IFBB um, just because there wasn't a lot of competition. Mm. Um, so it is kind of, for me, I want to step on stage with lots of people. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm competing if it's just me or a couple of others. And so I got my pro card. I did compete one year as a pro. I got to travel overseas, um, took out the Karma Classic in Melbourne, which was really awesome. Um, and then 2018 made the switch. So I did the back when we used to have an A season. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yep, fret through Christmas for March, um, the proams, and yeah, I won my pro card in fitness, my first comp with IFBB. Well um, but I mean, at, at the same time, I had been competing. I felt like I'd been kept competing for a little while anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, and that's when I decided, yeah, to go to the Arnold's. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest show I've been a part of because we had the Olympians, we had um, Whitney Jones, we had Missy. Um, yeah, there's quite a few big names. Wanted to hold my own. I was just like <laughs> out a coach for the first time, so that was awesome. Um, yeah, and then went to compete with the Arnolds the following year, and of course so we went into lockdown. That was the year we went into lockdown, so it was, we were about a week out. Oh. Which, oh, that was, yeah, it was, it was really rough. I think that kind of changed bodyboarding for a lot of us. Yeah. Um, down it made it very hard to compete especially for fitness um once you get your pro card you know there's there was no comps in New Zealand um yeah Australia was like we're not bringing the Arnold's back no. uh, so at that time I thought I was kind of done and then um it was WBFF that said they were doing a comp in New Zealand and that's the only reason I was like oh maybe I'll you know I'm a bodybuilder I want to compete 
I'll do I'll do the I'll give it a go. And of course that show got cancelled. Oh, yeah. Um, it was quite far into prep, so I was like, no, oh, I'll just go to the Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, sit over there. Um, like, I have no, I don't have any regrets. Like, it was an amazing show. It wasn't for me. Um, mm. It is very glamour, um, and I'm a bodybuilder, you know. Yeah. I, I want to show my muscles and stuff like that. It was a great show. Like, it was, it was a very long day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I came back. I didn't know what I was going to do. And um, Mo and I had a little bit of a chat. I went to one of the shows at the end of um, the year that I had competed at WFF, and he said, basically, I can come back, but you have to earn your pro card back. You know, not just going to get it. So I was like, why not? I'll come back. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd jump into figure because fitness, our – um, comparison round is the same as a figure, but my coach is like, no way, yeah. you're doing why? Why do you figure? We we trained so hard to get my legs down for fitness. Um, so I was pretty scared because when you look at the wellness girls, they're like these, you yeah. know, right? girls are amazing. These girls are next level. Um, but yeah, and I committed to it. Uh, it felt an easier prep because um, fitness is just honestly. If you think of what bodybuilders have to do, fitness girls, we have to add in tumbling, um, strength, flexibility, like it's just crazy, you know, and then perform that two-minute routine. So in terms of prep-wise, I did feel like it was easier um, and we had to hold me for a long time because I kind of peaked. Um, yeah, so showed up to Waikato. Um, and again, like I say, like I was, I was still nervous, mm -hmm. you know, and I was nervous because I knew I was already a pro, so I felt like there was more pressure on me, you know. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. Like, it's silly to say, but I felt like it would be embarrassing if I didn't, if yeah. I hadn't. Um, yeah, yeah, because, you know, um, yeah, but it, it's awesome. Like, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and so that's my bodybuilding journey. Cut kind of short. <laughs> <laughs> there's bits and pieces in there I'm sure we can all find out still but that's like the big gist of it isn't it and then um if you, like if you didn't win in wellness this year and you didn't get your pro card would you come back again and try again to get it or do you think that would be it for you you might just call it a day. No, no. um look I didn't go into Waikato thinking I was I was gonna win you know because you don't know who's gonna show up um it's not a running race it's not the first cross the line you don't know what the judges are going to be thinking um um, I don't know, like people are so quick to get their pro card, but once you get your pro card, there's, um, you know, limited opportunities unless you're going overseas and it does cost a lot. So to compete as an amateur, I would be happy to do that till I'd earn my pro card. Absolutely. I would have come back this year. Yeah. And yeah, gone for it. I think everyone's happy that you're done. <laughs> she's out. She's a pro now. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, you and Rochelle and all the others that we've got their pro cards last year. It's nice to have you guys in the next level. Um, yeah. But it's cool. It's good, nice to have you represent the country too. It's going to be so fun to see you and your debut of a wellness pro. Um, let's talk about let's talk about fitness because it is like in my opinion it's got to be the hardest division and for women mm. or even for women and men. And everyone will agree with me on that if they know what fitness entails. Um, it's crazy. So how did how did you so you what's your background in fitness? So you said you have a gymnastics background. Did you do tumbling? What did you start when you were a kid? Like how did all that come about for you, that part? Yeah, so I've done artistic gymnastics, rhythmic, also cheerleading and dance. Um, so yeah, fitness. It's just I mean, when you get older and you can't compete, you know, with gymnastics. Gymnastics, it's like nice to be able to still show your skills. Mm. Um so that's kind of where I was. I was just like, this is a great category for me. And what I look like when I started to now is so much different. Like I, don't, I had no, I wasn't lean. I went into my first comp. I think I prepped for like eight weeks or something, not even a proper diet. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. So, so, I mean, it has taken like every comp I've improved, you know, um, your muscle maturity, just, your first proof is just horrible. <laughs> um, if you can get through that first prep, 
um, then you, you'll be okay because mentally you can prepare yourself. You know mm-hmm. you're going to be hungry. You know you're going to be tired. You just you know how you're going to feel. Yeah. Um, but with fitness, um, there's this this whole next level of training. So I know for the Arnold's probably my toughest prep. Um, you know I got to I carry a lot of muscle, so you know I was needing to bring my legs down. So I was like ended up near the end of my prep, 19 minutes on the stairmaster. You know, so I was having to cut that into two because 90 minutes, I was just like, no way. Um, and then you've got all your weight training. But also I had one night where I'd just tumble. I'd just go to flow and I'd just practice all my tumbling rows, all my flips. But then I'd also have to do my flexibility and all your strength moves as well. So you've got you've got to have an explosive kind of fancy push-up. And when you, you can imagine how tired you are. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> and then to get out on stage when you're feeling depleted and dehydrated and th- you throw yourself around. Because I was, I was just like, I can get through an hour of fitness class, but two minutes on stage is exhausting. <laughs> Different story, eh? <laughs> yeah. Different yeah. Story. Do you still do any of your tumbling and stuff? Do you still practice every now and again? Nah? No. But I think, like, it's, once you can, you can kind of retrain yourself. It's like the splits, you know, you can – as kind of like you just retrain yourself to do it. It's hard because with bodyboarding, you're lifting, your, your muscles are getting tighter and tighter. And so you really need to keep that stretching, that flexibility up. And as you get older, it just gets harder. Like if you look at the top Olympians, they both injured themselves yep. stage this year. Yeah. So bad. Hard. It's hard. Your body's in a depleted, you know, state and you're throwing yourself around. Yep. Yeah. So that's the biggest worry as a fitness competitor is just you don't, if you're injured, you're pretty much stuffed. Yeah. Yeah, that was hard to watch, wasn't it? The uh, Olympia last year, two of them, it was two and a, two of the little yeah. girls were so bad. Was it, one of them was Whitney, was it? Whitney was at the end of her routine. I think she flipped yeah. and she did her knee or something and then I think Missy near, near the start of her routine. Yeah, she did she did really bad. Yeah, she was down, yeah. wasn't she? It was so yeah watch and it was just like horrific and heartbreaking because you know that that's her whole life you know and she at the beginning of yeah. your routine my god um but and it was, what was that I was gonna say the stages like I don't know about the Olympia stage but when I got to the Arnold's because you don't know what the stage is going to be like mm. concrete with a piece of carpet mm. uh, yeah so you are not having you don't have no bounce or push or anything you're using your whole body yeah so you can turn up I've been on a wooden stage, which has been quite nice. Mm-hmm. Um, end up to a comp where I've had no room and had to kind of on the spot rearrange my routine. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, you're on a hard floor as well, so it's rough. It's rough. <laughs> the girls with the silly little heels, huh? <laughs> we run the show and fitness has to deal yeah. with it. It's like, oh, gosh, no. You do see those springy floors sometimes, and I'm like, oh, this looks really, like, fun for the fitness girls, yeah. you know? I mean, the guys yeah. – but no shoes, they're fine, you know. Because each, yeah. is, it's just the girls in the heels have to deal with it, and that's done doable too. But it looks cool when you've got the proper gear and the floors and the, you know, the whole thing. It's supposed to be a bit of a show, so it's quite cool. Yeah. Um, what did you think about Taylor taking out second, or wasn't she second? She was quite. She was the smaller chick. I've been following her for years, but her uh, routine was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it was stunning, right? Like honestly, I know she's. I've read some of the comments and people. Uh, saying she doesn't belong there but honestly who's to say that you know yeah. you know like, it's just crazy um no I think she's beautiful and th- she's very talented and like I think the judges were saying probably one of the best yeah is uh, they're saying and I think with bodyboarding like um maybe it's just getting a bit crazy you know like why should she have to look you know a certain way you know and she's still young so she's got yeah. time to that's a muscle and yeah so right good her on. And Oksana yeah. thing yeah amazing all of them are so beautiful and if you anyone out there gets a chance to watch fitness watch fitness we just don't have enough of it in New Zealand for us to get pumped yeah. about it but if you have a chance to watch it watch it hey it's really fun to watch and it's exciting and it's like the best routines of all the entire day will be fitness I promise you <laughs> the most entertaining um so let's talk about 
you do quite a lot with yourself. Let's talk about your work for a minute and then we'll come back into competing and stuff like that too. But you do a lot. You're group fitness manager. You do the United Challenges, which I've had a massive stalk on. They look so cool. Um, you're a sponsored athlete. So you've got brands behind you and now you're a wellness pro. So you do a lot and you're a mum. Um, so what does a day what does a day look like for you? What is a kind of normal day? I know they're probably not normal, but what does a normal day entail for you? Um, I'm up at 4.30. So um, clients want to train at 5 for United. So start at 5. And they'll have probably three back-to-back -back, um, sessions there with the United guys. Um, they work in pods, so we have an upper body day and a lower body day throughout the week. Um, so if I'm not um, taking PTs, then I'm coaching a class um, at the gym. Um, and then normally I'll whip home um, and take my boy to school. I live um, in Sunny Knox, so he's at Long Bay College. Oh, yeah, so cool. yeah, yeah, driving go and then head to work where I do some admin so group fitness manager at snap fitness in Mairangi Bay um love it so I get to create all the um classes run the timetable the staff um yeah with Jeremy and Bree um which is awesome because it's it's funny if I'd never chosen Jeremy to coach me my life would be a lot different you know yeah and someone the other day because um, they started the gym and they brought me in to do group fitness and then Jeremy brought me in to help with his United. It's his baby. Um, so I feel very lucky to be able to be entrusted, you know, with mm. other. But very re rewarding because, um, you know, one of my clients last night was like she did a massive hike and she said she remembers she attempted to do it last year and got 10 minutes in and just couldn't, you know. Um, and then she... Her daughter wanted to do it yesterday and so headed out and she said, yeah, she just was so much stronger. Yeah, and I love that. All things like that with clients, you know. Yeah, um, yeah very re rewarding job. Um, and so, yeah, I would probably do my admin probably to about one and then I fit my training in. I get do my training and then normally go and pick my boy out from school. And then I will come back and teach a class, coach a class at night time. Yeah. And then come home, dinner and bed. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's tapping out. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. And does your son, does he train or is he into fitness or anything? What is he into? It's funny because he was brought up in the gym. Like I would drag him along to the gym. Um, but no, nah, he's um, definitely, he's not very sporty. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, he comes to the gym and he'll hang out and do cardio. But um yeah, no, he's he wants to get into form and acting or directing. Yeah, that's where he at at the moment. Yeah, very different. Yeah, very different, but that's still cool. I love that. That's awesome. So oh, I love it. That's really cool. Um, and the United Challenge. How do can people get involved in that? Like, tell me about that. Can people just come into the gym and check it out? Because I'm sure a lot of people know Jeremy too. He's really great. Um, yeah. Can people get involved in that if they're like, oh, I want to know about more about this. Yeah. So um, United Challenge is a ten week transformation. At the moment, it is just within our gym, um, but Jeremy's looking at branching it out, so create, creating an app. So we do get a lot of people who are outside Auckland or can't get to Marangi Bay, um, so they will be able to do it. Um, we're just we're in the process of doing that. Um, so within the 10 weeks, so you get um, training pods, so you get an upper body, you get a lower body day, you get two great fitness classes, um, you get all your scans. So every fortnight you get a chicken, um, nutrition guide. Um, it's just real community because I think that's what's going to keep people coming back to the gym is those connections. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've had some amazing transformations within the 10 weeks. Um, yeah. It's pretty like I think more of the side that the friendships that are made through um, going to the gym is pretty incredible. Yeah, it's really cool. If you guys are listening, go check out the, there's an Instagram page you guys have got. So go yeah. check out, yeah, there's a lot of transformations on there. But it's just cool. I think it's underrated and a lot of people get a little nervous to go to the gym and join us. The whole team yeah. that you don't know and stuff. But by the end of it, you feel so connected. You had a whole team to support you. You generally don't fall off as much because you yeah. don't with you, right? Um, yeah. So it's just a good idea. So if you guys are neat, especially through winter. So it's a good time to, yeah. kind of, you know, put that, put that out there and just make sure everyone knows that there's, there's groups and people that will look after you. And I mean, who better than a wellness pro to take care of you, take you through a leg day? Like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, I'm scared. Um, so that's really cool. It's really cool. I like that, that um, you've got so much on your plate and different pieces that you can do in your life. Do you have any 
any different things that you want to include in your life and your career? Or are you really happy with what you're doing? Um, so I have been thinking about that with bodyboarding kind of coming to an end because I am very goal driven. I like to wake up and know that I'm like working towards something. Um, I've thought about powerlifting because through my bodyboarding journey, like I love lifting heavy weights. Um, but as a staff team, we've been learning some ollie lifts. Ooh, um, yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. this is cool. If I could do something like this, this would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. And maybe it, yeah, powerlifting or something like that. Yeah, nice. I love it. And you do see that a lot, people going between back and forward, whichever way, you know, and it's just nice to have something else, like you said, to work towards and and not just be like training maybe just for lifestyle. That's good every now and again, but people like you and yeah. I, you know, something to work on and it's just nice to have that. Um, so that's cool. We'll see what happens and where you end up. We might have to come to a powerlifting show in a few years. You never know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, what appealed to what, what made you decide – wellness like what, what like were you like oh maybe I could do because your physique is so incredible like you could almost do anything like did you think maybe figure or were you like now nah, wellness because my legs are good or what was it that wellness really appealed to you about um my, well so my feedback from Y kiddos um was so so it was my upper body was very well developed yeah. um which is hard to untrain in a couple of weeks for nationals. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's something we have pulled back on. Um, but at the same time, we, when you look at those girls, they still do have really nice shoulders. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I think if I had had my way, I would have jumped into figure. Oh. Um, but, I mean, I've been with my coach for six years, and mm-hmm. I feel like we had that relationship where I trust him. He kn- probably knows my body better than me. Um, and like you said, why would you fight against, you know, your, mm-hmm. I've got big legs, why would I just try and shrink them? Um, so I think wellness is beautiful. Like I do I do love the posing side of things, probably more than figure. I think it just scared me. Wellness yeah. just scared me. Um, and at the time where I was competing, we had people who, um, like Sarah O'Neill, mm-hmm. um, it was like, to me, I think she probably w- would have been the next one up for a pro card, but she didn't finish her prep. She pulled out. Um, there's other girls. Louise. Louise had a massive off season. Like she's she's going to be dangerous if she decides. To eat. Um, so I think just it's so silly. I just like you get scared. Yeah. Um, because competition shouldn't scare you. Like I love I love competition. Um, so I think um yeah I feel like wellness I'm well suited to. Yeah. Just had to back off that upper body I think Jasmine was the same she was told the same with her upper body and probably when I was at Waikato I was told to jump in actually to physique oh, wow. <laughs> yeah but I was like I don't want to do that I don't that's not what I want to do I want to do wellness so um I was told after nationals that I did suit the class and I looked good up there so I was, I was happy I was happy with that feedback yeah and did you were you happy when you saw like your photos like your state because you don't like you don't know until you see it up there right and were you happy were you like oh my god my times actually look fucking awesome were you happy with what you looked at when you saw yourself yeah so when I was checking in with my coach that morning um I don't know if it was the lighting was real bad he's like we should we should tie ins <laughs> no wellness that's what everyone wants to see when you turn around see him. oh my gosh where are they? <laughs> I was like I can feel them like I was trying to <laughs> friend a video and so that was actually the first thing I said to my friend when I got off stage just like oh my gosh what do I look like and she showed me she'd taken a picture of um, from behind and I was like oh, oh my gosh like, I couldn't believe that was me like so like so shocked but um yeah because it was the first time I had tie-ins um really worked hard because I said if I'm doing roundness I've got to have those tie-ins um smashed so my hamstrings and glutes for my off uh, for that season um yeah no, I was I was really proud. Like you say, you don't know what you look like to your CFO stage. I was very, very nervous. So um, some of the feedback was easily fixed because I was very tense. So it was showing my muscles. So I just needed to soften and relax. <laughs> and then you did that at nationals. You looked a lot more relaxed at nationals, even though it's a national show. But you looked a little bit more like maybe just comfortable. Maybe you just like I've done this now once. Like So were you a little bit more comfortable at nationals, like a bit more okay, confident? Yeah. Uh, I think I was I think I was a little bit more um I had a pretty stressful morning my tan was terrible 
And so, and then my tanning lady was away. So then I had to go and get it fixed up. And, and like, I, for me, I wanted to wash it off and just restart. And the lady was like, no, don't do that. I'll just, so I felt like I was really dark. Yeah. You looked great. I think you looked, did you have feedback on your tan? No, I didn't. Nice. That's good. That means it's not being too yeah. bad. Yeah, definitely. Um, what do, I don't know if you're allowed to share this, but why not ask? But do you, did you, like, how much did you carve up and pump up on the day? Like, did you eat a lot of food on, the, on show day for nationals? Or were you like, what was your protocol? Hardly anything. Um, so, because we prep so many times, um, I feel like I blow out if I eat too much carbs, like straight to the stomach. Um, and so we were like, so with my diet, we pulled back my carbs probably about 18 weeks out. Um, we haven't, we've done it just now, 13 weeks out, because um, we just, just for me, this this won't m- maybe be for everyone, but just high fats and proteins for me seem to work. Um, and so, yeah, my carb up was pretty much, I was still having my steak and my avocado and just some rice crackers and peanut butter. Yeah. Not much. Not much, yeah. just normal sort of basic meals. Hey, you don't want to throw it over because you can do it, can't you? <laughs> you see everyone with their rice and you're like, it's fine because they've got their own direction, but you just, you know, hope people don't spill and go a little too far. But um, you looked like you were carved up crazy because <laughs> your muscles were happy and plump and loving it. Um, yeah. And we're going to pump up. Yeah. We're yeah. Pump up. Just a booty band. Um, yeah. yeah, just kickbacks. Yeah. Even I was shocked to, um, like, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, I think my coach was saying, yeah, the more muscle you have, the easier it is just to get a pump. Um, so, yeah, I, I was just kicking back some and just doing a little bit of shoulders. Didn't want to bring my shoulders out too much. But, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Easy for you, babe. Kicking back, feet up. There she is. Get on the stage. Pro <laughs> Job done. Good day on the job. <laughs> let's talk about your coach. So who is your coach? Like, Let's shout him out. How long have you been with him? Do you love him? Tell us all about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, before I got my oh, so before I got my pro card um, for fitness, I just had a nutritionist. Um, so I was kind of doing all my training, um, full time group fitness instructor. So I was exhausted. So I didn't put a lot of training into my weightlifting. Um, when I got my pro card, I was like, I need a coach. If I'm going to the Arnold's, I need a coach. And um, yeah, so I basically just went online, just. I'd kind of heard about Jeremy. I wanted someone close because I like face-to-face chickens then online. Um, yeah, and I just messaged him. I was like, would you take me on? I know he had a couple of girls that he trained for a figure. And he was like, yep, let's do this. Um, and, yeah, it's it's been a journey um, from coach to being my boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, work, to working together every day. Like we had to – um learn that kind of you know because when you're you know I can be annoying (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's just finding that dynamic isn't it yeah but um yeah so I'm surrounded I'm actually surrounded at work with um bodybuilding pros they don't like to they don't like throw it out they don't like so I've got Jeremy and his wife Brie Brie bikini pro and Myra Rogers she's a figure pro and she's been to the Olympia wow yeah yeah. Crazy. What so, <laughs> great support you know <laughs> and sometimes Jeremy will be like um talking back and forth with Myra you know so and he does the same with her clients so yeah it, it's it's really it's really good it's really nice so six years with um Jeremy um and I just feel like yeah sometimes people are so quick to change coaches but mm-hmm. I mean you gotta learn you gotta learn your client's body and what works and no prep has been the same um yeah so yeah he's off oh, I actually remember back in 2018 I was prepping for a fitness model show and I remember seeing you in the gym all, all the time because it was the NZ muscle gym and Jeremy used to be in there all the time and he'd have his clients posing in the mirrors and I was just like who are these people like you and then Jeremy and then his figure girls and I was just like oh my gosh just so motivating and like just watching you and your discipline and I'd just be in there on my stair master like one day I'll look like that but it was just really cool and that's pretty much about the same time as you probably jumped on with him that was about six years ago so yeah just, yeah to see your just to, I don't know see you then and see you now and just see Jeremy yeah. and you guys are all just blossoming it's really cool 
Um, so if anyone needs a gym out there, Snap My, My Dungy Bay sounds like a good yeah. option. <laughs> support, <laughs> yeah. what help. Um, I love that. And so you're not like you wouldn't you at the moment you're not changing coaches, are you? You're happy with Jeremy, aren't you? Yeah. I love that. That's really cool. Um, what does your training look like at the moment? Because I know you're, you said you're 13 weeks out. Are you tapering down? Are you still trying to build certain little spots? Or what are you up to in the training? Yeah, so I was doing legs three times a week and upper body once. Um, but after my, I just checked in on Friday and we've decided to pull back a leg day. Um, so take it to two leg sessions um, and then upper body and a push and pull day just because my legs he said probably they looked a little bit inflamed like they're not recovering enough so time to pull back a little bit and just let them settle <laughs> is it hard to train a little bit less yeah because I've just been smashing my legs my lower body but I get what he means like they aren't recovering you know I'm going into each ses session and I'm like smashing smashing them but the good thing is I've put on muscle, you know. Mm -hmm. he, said, he already said on Friday I've smashed my last look. So it's going to be exciting to see what I can bring, you know. Everything comes together. <laughs> it does. It's a day and it will. Don't you worry. Um, what's your favourite part of your train? Like, what's your favourite part of league day? Do you like the quads, the hammies, glute? What's your favourite bit? Do you have a favourite? Oh, um, it's. It's tough, like, because when I train myself, I get to kind of play around. So I do, like, a glute and hamstring day. Um, when I train, so we, I've trained with Jeremy every Friday for the last six years, so that's been my PT session. But, oh, honestly, I go into those sessions pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, I was just like, I think I've pulled my glute muscle, but nah. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not going to be able to walk for two days yeah. So I always have two rest days after that um I don't know I really because I wasn't doing things like hip thrusters and kickbacks um when I was doing fitness mm -hmm. um, a deadlifts are definitely my favorite <laughs> yeah I love it I love a posterior day yeah mm -hmm. I love posterior day. I love I've grown to love hip thrusters still love my deadlifts um love a good squat squat yeah. day yeah, yeah. All, things, all the strong yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, and what about nutrition? What is your nutrition? Are you tapering down in calories? What are you? What's your nutrition look like at the moment? Yeah, so we've just, um, like I said, pulled my carbs. So yeah. no rice, no kumara, all that's just been pulled out now. Um, and we just added fats in. So, you know, the avocado has probably replaced most of that. Um, I still get oats um, in the morning and a banana before I train. Otherwise, everything is just um, beef chicken avocado beans yeah carbs. oh it's tough but like you said everyone's different so no one needs to go and take all the carbs out of their diet to look like ray today because <laughs> that won't happen but um yeah everyone's different and some people do need to bring their carbs out earlier and it's just the way it, you get used to it though don't you, you kind of do start to yeah. no, honestly my calories are still high the fat still pushes like i think jeremy worked out my calories the other day and he's like still over 2000 calories so it hasn't, you know, and we actually didn't have to change too much of my diet coming in because I just leaned out and my cardio cardio didn't increase over 30 minutes because we found when I did, I started to shrink a little bit too much. So we just pulled it back to 30. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Do you crave any foods or do you feel like you you miss foods or are you pretty just disciplined? You're happy to stay your food. I'm not craving anything. Um, I think I have gone through breaks where I've just been like, oh, my gosh, like a donut or some chocolate would be nice now. But, yeah, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> worth it. I feel like it's never worth Like, even if you were to cheat on your prep, you're like, does it, it doesn't feel good after, does it? It's like, what was the point and of I've that? i a few boys competing around the same time as me, and um, they're just kind of at that. That's their first prep, so you get all the moaning, and <laughs> I – have to laugh because I'm like guys like you, you don't even know what hungry is yet you know you're still 13 weeks out and um you don't know what tired is yet <laughs> like if you're tired now um and I said to them I mean food hasn't been taken away from you it's going to be there when you finish your prep you've got to think like that like um and no one's making you do this you know so when people moan it's kind of oh, <laughs> at any time you can just go have a burger <laughs> yeah, exactly cheeky eh? i know oh you just gotta keep that discipline and you've done so many preps now it's just like second nature to you now isn't it it's just yeah you know, the, the plan has to be executed to get to where you want to go and so it's just gonna be done 
Um, what do, what does competing mean to you? Do you enjoy like what do you enjoy about it the most? What keeps you going and keeps you coming back and doing it again? Um, I think it's just when you have that stage body and you know that you built that, it's pretty incredible. Um, and I do like training for me is the easy part. I do love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like. It's it, like it is tough. Like I'm not going to say like my preps are easy, but I keep coming back and doing them. <laughs> um, like once you get on stage and you can be proud that you built that body, and yeah, it's pretty cool. One day when I'm really old, I can look back and be like, "Look, that's my body." <laughs> yeah, I was like, hundred percent. You'll still be going by then, won't you? <laughs> You'll still be looking incredible. I can guarantee it all the way through um I love it um and I do think that you're more of like a I usually ask my guests this because it can be different for everyone but do you prefer do you like the prep more or do you like the show day more is it more is there one that's more biased for you you enjoy more than the other um I probably would say show day um prep yeah it's pretty hard yeah (laughs) like no it's because you do like end up having to be anti-social um you know and you you are tired so you, when you're around a lot of people you just gotta watch that you are that nice person because it's easy to just not you know mm-hmm. um but if you've got a good circle that can pull you up on it like mm, you're a bit grumpy today you know and I'm quite sensitive so I'm like oh my gosh so like just being aware you know because you don't want to be that person you know and it's just and it's it's like it's just because I'm hungry I'm sorry <laughs> oh you you don't realize as soon as you've said it don't you like oh my that was really yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think I would go for more the show day, you know, that um, lead up is, it's pretty cool because, you know, you're just so close. Yeah. And then you've got all the moment, mementos to take away from the day and you can kind of like, yeah. you know, can't you? I love that. Yeah. Part. Um, yeah. We have the same posing coach, Rhiannon, which yeah. I love. Um, <laughs> have you enjoyed learning posing with Re? How long have you been with her and how's that process been going for you? Um, so only for wellness. Yeah. Um, I reached out to her. I would say to anyone, if you are looking at competing, sooner is better. Do not leave it because, man, uh, it may look easy on stage, but oof, I was humbled in my first session, put it that way. I thought I was just going to walk out there and she was like, no, no, what are you doing? No, no. And I was like, oh, I wanted, I wanted to cry and run away. Um, not because cause she's so lovely and she's so patient, but I'm pretty hard on myself and I was like why why am I not getting this you know like don't lift my feet and and then I was dragging them and <laughs> in that first session so, um but no she's she is amazing and um I started sending her my check-in photos so she can correct them and got my first session with her on Saturday just to go through comparisons before we kind of start putting together my routine but um no she she's amazing very patient and um yeah knows what she's doing so yeah, patient and direct at times when needed, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've posted some pickup photos and and haven't even tagged her, and she's come through like, "What are you doing? Like, what's that?" And like, I wasn't even like thinking. I was just, you know, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, yeah." But she's, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> great. So it's always on for re, or it's not perfect, and it's kind of just a good way to push you into it, isn't it? It's good to have people in your corner to get you there. Yeah, you need you need a that's not going to let you get away with anything, you know. Yeah. It, also as a journey um between you you know like you represent them um you know it's just as much them on stage mm. as, yeah so yeah, yeah. You represent then, the coaches aren't you yeah absolutely and you've got a new routine to go through now because you've got a pro routine so it's a uh, lot more isn't it what's what's a pro routine like compared to a amateur routine just with the people that might not know is there a big difference um, I don't know yet till Saturday. Find <laughs> out soon. Which will let yeah, us I'll find out on Saturday. <laughs> but I think it's a lot longer, isn't it? And you get a bit more time on stage is probably the biggest yes. thing. And you have to do a little, little bit more, a few more walks or whatever. So um, it'll be cool to see you getting that done and you'll have a little bit more to learn before you go, but you'll be fine. Um, are you excited to learn a new routine? I know it's a challenge, but are you excited to try something different? Yeah, absolutely. I've kind of been looking at a few, as you do, I, I go through and save um, ones that I like or that I think that would suit me. So um, I'll show them <laughs> to Anne and just see what she thinks. Because, um, yeah, you don't want to be someone else. You want to, you know, but you might like a turn or the way they do something or the way they do their arms. Yeah. 
So I've got a little bit of a safe box there. <laughs> I love that. Who is who's your favorite wellness pro? Is it Rayen or like who would be your favorite? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And she's fitting the criteria more each year from what we see. You know, she did get a little bigger and then they said, bring it down. She brought it down. And now she's like, I think she'll push Francie Alley a little bit more this year. And hopefully yeah. a few others do as well, just to see a bit more. Yeah. 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 Um, it'll be good to watch Olympia. Do you watch Olympia when it's on each year or just, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, it's always fun. It's the top. Oh, well, fitness girls and then I watch wellness. Yeah. Yeah. Then the bikini's too long, isn't it? There's about a thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the end? <laughs> catch the highlights later because it's just too much um do we will we see you at what, any of the new zealand shows watching any this year are you going to be going to any of those and which one will we see you there just in the audience cheering people on yeah definitely the ones in auckland um and i've got a friend competing down at y Kiddos again so i'm going to head down there and yeah definitely support him right. yeah the venue down there looks really cool this year if anyone who hasn't seen uh, it Ross yeah Ross this year and it's a brand new venue and it's a theater like tournament of champs but newer so if you haven't signed up for a comp yet i'd say that would be pretty cool to do wouldn't it because it looks beautiful yeah they say why is always a great one to do and i did love it when i did it yeah Super competitive. i wish i did something else because <laughs> i was just like holy shit but it's all right we come back and do it again and see what we can do next time like you said the first prep is always a yeah. bit of a but it's a little bit of a yeah. is it me or not um but it's always fun so that'd be cool see you at the auckland shows in white they might get you up on stage doing um the tro the medals they do that Mate. that'd be cool <laughs> um and i'm sure we'll see you there and probably jasmine around as well um but i think that was pretty much all i've got for you um for this chat babe did i miss anything though have i missed any parts of your because i know you've got a big career and everything have i missed anything no no like Most of it um and yep. maybe i will i always ask my guests this but i would really love to get you on when you get back home after your trip and your whole thing to settle down you know get back into your life and then we'll get you back on and chat about it if you're keen yeah absolutely that'd be fun it'd be yeah. so cool and just put a couple of pics up for everyone to see and just wrap yeah. up how your comp went and how you guys travel together and all of that stuff um and before you go do you have any sponsors you'd like to mention i know you have a couple of brands that you're working with shout them out share your codes all of that stuff yeah. i work with um explosive supplements um but my actual sponsor is muscle tech in australia um and my code is just ray <laughs> so you can get 10 percent discount um i'm pretty lucky like i've also been gifted um in equals water um it's a hydration so it's really good for electrolytes and also avalanche which is the hot chocolate yeah yeah they're amazing they just give me so much stuff <laughs> So good. I love that. Look at you go. I've asked a few of the pros, like, who are you sponsored by? And they're like, no one. I'm like, what? Oh. Everyone's so weak in New Zealand. We need to get these pros going, like pump them up. But yeah. it'll, happen. it'll happen for sure. But um, good on you, babe. So use her code Ray for any of those products and support her on her journey. Don't forget to follow on her Instagram because you'll share a bit about your journey, won't you, and your travel a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I try, I try, I try. I know, yeah. it's hard, isn't it? You've got enough to do on your plate, but if you do share any little bits and pieces, we'll be there to check it out. I'll share the pay-per-view link when it comes around to that time so we can watch all three of our Kiwis on stage. It's going to be so sick. Yeah. Um, and we wish you all the best, babe. It's been so good to have you on the pod. Thank you for your time. So much. Thank you so much, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks to everyone for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe, um, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.